here's something that's kind of fun to do with the surface. This is your standard tin. You can see that it just says it's a tin surface. If we were to hold down shift in the middle mouse wheel, we can rotate it and see it is just a tin surface in space, not a solid. To make this into a solid object, so we could like 3D print it or do any of the solids modeling stuff if you wanted to do that up here. Turn this into a solid that we could use. It's already built into the surface. If we highlight the surface, we get our surface tools to ex to make this into a solid. All we need to do is extract them from the existing surface. Because right now they're a bunch of 3D faces. The nice thing is if we go to extract solids from surface, gives us this cool little dialog here. And instead of just protecting it from the tin down to a certain distance, I would like to set it down to a fixed elevation so I get a nice flat bottom. This guy here, I know the bottom part of it is at 1735, because 1737 is my low point, so I want to have a foot or two, so that way it gives me a nice a little bit of thickness, so that way when I 3D print it, I won't get something too crazy. I'm just going to let it put it in the existing drawing, and I'm going to let it put it on this layer here. If you wanted to, if it's going to be really big, or you wanted to give it to someone else without having to give them your whole file, you could just add it to a new drawing, and it would make this file in this space be the 3D solid. But at this point, we're good. I'm going to hit Create Solid. And the nice thing is, you can see that it kind of projects down to this. And now I've got something here that if I run a list on it, a live for list, it says this here was a tin surface and now it's a 3D solid. Pretty good. And this is just one piece. I can export this solid. I can do any of the solid modeling things to it. And of course, if I go here and change the view to something like, say, conceptual, See that does have itself a bit of a solid mass kind of to it. And now I can do all my standard solid functions or my 3D modeling functions. Cool thing is if I go up here to the surface and I turn this guy to no display. So now I'm not seeing any of my surfaces. I just see my top guy. And the cool thing is it captures anything, anything that those three faces were creating. Uh, and it gives me a chance to use my new software.